North End, uh, I'm just going to use the word pride. Community gatherings, family. You know, they say people from the North End either were born here or want to have been born here. There's a whole bunch of people here trying to get this community going. It is a community that has a rich history of people struggling against all odds to make a good living and, and a good life for themselves and their families. We used to have a lot of financial institutions in the North End, and many of them left in the 90s. In the space of about 10 to 14 years, all bank branches left this area, 10 in total. One of the reasons why uh, banks were leaving the community is that capital for many years was leaving Selkirk Avenue. It was not only a time of enormous uh, uh, grief at the loss of our banks and of feeling betrayed and disappointed, but it also rallied community. And out of that came a sense of new purpose and a determination to rebuild from the ground up. Judy Washington, these used to uh, used to call me frequently, like every time they were closing a bank branch, I'd get a phone call from Judy and say, you know, Al, what can we do? What can Assiniboine do? So for every bank branch that closed, the citizens in the area rose up and demonstrated. They demonstrated at that corner, at this corner, at that corner. None of it worked. Well, if you think about it, I mean, if a big bank can't make the money that they want, they move out. So what kind of element's going to move in there? A lot of the people that I worked with in the community were using the Money Mart and, you know, the, the, the other fringe uh, banking institutions in the community. Like a lot of businesses would cash checks, you know, and take off $10, $15 off of a, a social assistance check that, you know, you had to feed your family of three on $400 and they're taking $15, that's a supper. The corner stores, the pawn shops, the payday money lenders. Rent to home, check cash. Cashing companies. They're grasping for those people that that are suffering and need pawn shops and need money marts to uh, to live. Clearly, the North End has not been treated fairly. Clearly, there are other organizations that are interested only in serving communities where they can make a substantial return on investment. We worked initially with the Alternative Financial Services Coalition. We did a community needs assessment and and learned that people were having difficulty saving up for anything, um, difficulty accessing banks. We looked at a variety of things. We were looking at starting a, a pawn shop, <laughs> a socially responsible pawn shop, someplace where we could generate income and help people. We've been involved with Assiniboine Credit Union and the Alternative Financial Services Coalition for many years. And this was people coming together to say, how are we going to serve underserved people in our city? And so we're really exploring ways of how we could offer financial services in kind of a non-traditional uh, you know, branch setting. Whether those have had to do with starting up uh, something called the Community Financial Services Center or whether it's had to do with providing asset building programs. We've been doing lots of different things in the North End for a long time. It's opened up a whole new um, door. You know, I, I, I I'm finding out how to save and how to balance, finding out that I can get, get my credit rating up, you know, where it can lead me to a mortgage, and there's just so many other options that I never thought other than just saving money. We all, I think, you know, as human beings, have the same hopes and dreams, and that, you know, that's, that's to have enough to feed our families, to have a decent roof over our heads. Well, you know what, banking is a part of that dream in some way. It's helped me save money. Um, it's helped me teach my children about banking. I think a, a financial institution is like an uh, economic engine for a particular community and so for a community to, to even survive, let alone thrive, it really does need a, a financial institution. So the role that we play, and it's only one role and not even the most important role, it's one of the services that the folks in that community have told us for years that they need to have available locally in order for them to become the kind of community that they want to be. I think we need to be cognizant of the fact that, yes, there was the exodus of some major banks several years ago. Um, provide that reassurance that we're here and we're here to stay. We're setting up building blocks with our members because we're here in this area where no one really else is. It's huge. What they've already done is they've already come around to the businesses here. The manager and, and two other members of the credit union came around here and asked me what I wanted 
I want to see music and I want to see music festivals and I want to see people coming down here and taking lessons and I want to see people um, enjoying Main Street and the parks here and everything. Is that going to happen? I really hope so, but what gives me hope is somebody comes, comes around and asks me what I want and is, is interested in what the community wants.